Okay, so here I'm preparing the tire with soil to transplant the red purple potatoes into the tire so it has more room to grow out. So uh, typically uh, you would just start the seed potatoes in the tire. Um, I did not have the tires when I started uh, the seed potatoes, so I just started them in the pot. But uh, so you typically start them out just in the potato or in the tires. So what I did to prepare the tire, I put down a weed blocker at the very bottom, filled it with soil, a little bit of straw, a little bit of pebble, and then um, now uh, I'm got the uh, potato bulbs out of the pot plopping them down into the tire here and I'm going to get them all situated in so I uh, will fill in dirt all around it and these ones are really really tall I let them grow too much in that pot so um, once I get this bottom level all filled in I'm actually going to go ahead and add on a second top tire and fill that up with more soil and dirt and uh, uh, straw there and hopefully get a second round of potatoes. And then um, with those, you just keep stacking the tires. So it's a pretty cool little, little thing I found on Pinterest and hopefully it works out well for me. This is the first year trying it. Okay, so here you can see I've gone ahead and added that second tire on and I'm getting my potting soil ready to fill in that second layer as well. Um, and really, uh, with how grown this particular plant is, it pretty much needs a third tire pretty soon, but uh, I'm just going to let it grow out on this level for a little while. Essentially, when you know, you're, know you're ready for another level, when your potato plant greens there, are about 10 inches long. You just add in another tire and you build it up and it'll produce more potatoes. Um, most of the models that I've seen and done research on show these potato towers um, that are done in the tires, usually around four tires high. Um, and that's what my goal is. So we'll see how this turns out. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to end up uh, painting the tires, make them some fun colors or something like that. One, to help block the, the tires from absorbing all this heat and roasting my potatoes prematurely. Uh, and uh, two, just add some color into the garden as well. So that is my tower, my potato tower here. Um, I have the second one that's done up behind me. And uh, I'm really looking forward to this first year of potatoes. And I'll keep you guys posted on how the potato tower is actually doing for me. And then uh, just a final wrap up here on the tower. Um, once I've got that soil all in there, I'm just gonna top it off with some straw, as you see there, and uh, make sure that it's well watered because it can dry out pretty quick and these need to stay moist. So, uh, very excited for some potatoes this year and some fun colored potatoes at that. Good morning, everyone. So I was just walking the property today and I've got some new blooms to show you. Really excited. My Rose of Sharon plant has started to bloom. Look at that, gorgeous. That's just the first color to come out. I also have some white ones, some dark purple ones, some blue ones. They'll all be very pretty once they get going. And I've got tons of them, so. Like, 
all of those that you see, all that green, all rows of Sharon. Okay. And then come back here to the garden. Look at all the blooms we got going on in there. It's really exciting. I've gotten three cucumbers out of the garden already. I already see some more in there. And then what I've been really excited about are my zucchinis are finally blooming. This one's a little, a little late still, but I'm hopeful how well these other ones are doing in just a short period of time. And then kind of a scan of the rest of the garden here. Got my onions doing really well. All the tomatoes. Eggplants at the end are really well. I fixed up some of the Georgia greens last night. Cabbage as well. And then all of my peppers coming in good. Mm -hmm. 